got dangerously close to the topic of de- blind and deaf people on the last podcast. We need to cut it yeah. short because um, we can get into a bit of a head fuck there. So yeah, like, well, and the thing is, is the thing about blind and deaf people as well, uh, very limited understanding of it, but like they only experience life through touch and smell. So would their dreams be based on I think they touching and I smelling? I think they must have. Like, so people would like, is it synesthesia when like you see colours and stuff like that? Or you hear colours? And- you hear colours? Oh, yeah, yeah. So like... What the- yeah, exactly. <laughs> or like, or, or the other way around. You you see music. So if you if hey yars on, you just see like purples and greens and what the fuck? Yeah, that's a happens. mind fuck. Yeah. So um, when you think about somebody with an additional way of perceiving things like that, they must dream in it. Like I'm sure we could do the research if we had more. Yeah, but, mate, but yeah, but mate, like extensive research is not what this podcast is about. You know, that actual is, facts. That that is, is, <laughs> yeah, the facts. It's about it's about outlandish ideas, not about the truth behind them. Mm. <laughs> um, that should be the like the bit like the description. But like blind and deaf people, for example, because they are very limited in terms of their senses. So they've got probably I imagine they have very strong senses of touch and very strong senses of smell. Yeah. Um, but even so, because you can't have anything explained to you in the way that people with the, the, the auditory ability can, yeah. would you be able to connect in the same way with your emotions? And as a result, probably the only emotion you'd really get is fear because you don't, you, you're unable to perceive what's going on around you. Um, yeah, but I mean, we, so we don't know what we don't see, do we? Like, we don't see magnetic fields. We don't fear not being able to see the magnetic fields that birds can. Like, we... <laughs> So you, how how can you fear that if you don't know what you're missing out on? Because when things touch you, like you don't know where it's come from, they can still feel it, but it, but you wouldn't know what it what it is. Yeah, but I mean, if so it's, the the only the only reaction that that can elicit is fear. I don't think so. I think for us, yeah, because we rely on so many of other our other senses. But if you don't, then you kind of that's the way that you feel around the world that's the way you I but also, they, they, they wouldn't even know what being scared is because you got your 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 <laughs> this is gonna make this is messing my head this is why we didn't get into this last time your field of what you know yeah. is so limited you know how what things feel like I, I, I mean and you know what things smell like i think i think if you taste like i guess yeah I, I, people who you know, lack certain senses, or because we all must. Well, Ken can't smell. Well, yeah, so so, I don't, it doesn't fear not doing that. Like, but the, but the thing is, the amount of information you have is so because we get so, our brains, human brains, process so much information. Yeah, from seeing and hearing. But you would still do. You still process information if you don't have one of those senses. You just like. Mate, it's, it's, yeah. it's messing with my head. I, I can't. You think it's because you can't imagine it. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't. Oh, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's best in my head. So, blind and deaf people, how? What do you think they dream about? Touching stuff and colours. Yeah, I mean, just the, like in the same way we dream about things, we we see things. They they must perceive it in their own dreams in the same kind of way, just differently, like to how we see. Which, if if we're going back to the multiverse theory, are they blind in every single part of the multiverse? So they dream about. Oh, that's a good one. Link that back. Yeah, oh. Throw it in there. So it, if a blind and deaf person dreams about a, mu- a multiverse, an alternate universe, yeah. where they're not blind and deaf, can they see and hear in that dream? N- no. No. <laughs> so uh, that, that well, sort I of... Mean, we, we assume no. I mean, I, you I can't ask we... them because they can't, they can't talk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's true. You can like, and that's not a joke. No, but there are other ways you can communicate. But yes, what like th- high five? <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> was a high five. I'll okay. cut it out. Don't worry. <laughs> Just edit it out. Okay. Edit, <laughs> massive smack. Like I like, like Arnie. Yes. <laughs> Just edit that one. <laughs> uh, I won't do that because that's too much editing. NLG but. like shot. Shh. Yeah. Well, look, mate. Yeah, it's too late now. So I don't have to leave it in, really, because otherwise the cut the, the cut through to the next insane. bit it's going to look really weird. So, so yeah. Well, I hope the listeners enjoyed that one. 